We're going to look at how to create a simple Android application using the Corona SDK. This particular demonstration is going to be just an initial getting started hello world type project. I'm Dr. Brian Burton. I'm, all of my tutorials can be found on my blog burtonsmediagroup.com forward slash blog and on there I've got quite a few tutorials on Java getting started with Android, iPhone development, uh, other useful tutorials such as that. In this particular tutorial we're looking at Corona. Now the Corona SDK allows us to develop applications that are media rich in for the mobile technology including iPad, iPhone, and in this specifically Android. I am using the newest version of the Corona SDK version 2.0. Um, it's just been released into beta version 5. Uh, soon expected to go into full production. For this tutorial I will be using BB Edit to do the demonstration on. Um, you could use Xcode as well if you're wanting to develop for both the iPhone and the Android or the iPad as well or you can just simply um, use Eclipse, uh, Eclipse or Lua Eclipse or just a standard editor. I prefer using something that allows me to see the um, the coding more easily so I'm going to use BB Edit for this particular demonstration. For this initial demonstration of programming with Corona SDK we're going to be using the Lua programming language. Now Lua is by default used for everything in the Corona SDK so I highly recommend that you become familiar with it. For this particular hello world let's simply just type in print left parenthesis quote hello world exclamation quote right parenthesis and believe it or not we're now done. We just simply need to save it to some place that we can find more very easily later on. So I'm going to go to File and do a save of this uh, to my desktop and put it in the desktop in my Lua stuff. I've created a folder called Lua stuff and we'll save this as main.lua and save and it is now stored in my folder for Lua stuff on my desktop. That'll make it easy to find later on as I'm getting started with the SDK. Next thing we need to do is open up the terminal program in Corona. So I'm going to Corona 2.0 and I'm going to open the Corona terminal. There we go. And I will surf to my desktop Lua stuff and then one of the keys on getting started with Corona is to understand that you're opening the folder that contains your Lua files instead of actually opening a specific file. Also I need to go ahead and set at this point in time what kind of device I'm wanting to simulate. In this particular case I'm wanting to simulate the droid. So I'm going to click on open and as you can see it opened up a the Corona simulator of the droid nothing happened on there. However, in my in my terminal, you can see that it says hello world. Now you might think, hey, this is kind of plain. This is not Well, actually it is. We successfully printed hello world to the terminal. Now this is very useful if you're doing troubleshooting, trying to find out what's going wrong with your program, things like that. But I'm sure you, like most people, Displaying something to the actual simulator itself. I mean, how much fun is it to sell an app that only displays information to you internally to the system, doesn't display something to the screen? So let's go back and edit our code a little bit. And this time we're going to do a little bit more coding to do our hello world, but this time it will actually display on our simulator. So the first thing I need to do is create a variable to store the information that's going to display my mobile device. So I'm going to type in local and I'm going to create a variable um, called text uh, object equals 
and now I need to tell it what's going what's going to be stored inside this variable. In this case, I'm going to do a display dot new text, and then tell it what I want displayed or stored in this object. In this case, hello world. And then we need to tell it where it's going to display on the device. So I'm going to go 50 pixels over, that's the X position, 50 pixels down, the Y position, nil, which is a forthcoming uh, property that will be added to the display new text, and then the size of the text that I want displayed, and I'm going to set it at 24. Now you might think, well, we're ready to go again then. No, we're not. The next thing that we need to do is set the color of our text object. Text object, text in the display by default is has no color to it, which means that you won't be able to see it. We've got to add color to it or it's of no use to us. Now, in later projects, this might be a very useful feature to have text that has no color to it, but for right now, we need to have some color to it. So what we need to do is say text object colon set text color and then give the RGB red green blue color specifications for this. Now for white that's 255, 255, 255. Black is 000. Now we're ready to save this file, our main Lua file, and run it again in our simulator so that we're able to um, display this to the screen. So I'll save. There we go. And we're now ready to run this again. So I'll open it again. Lua stuff. Still set for the droid. Open. And there we go. We've got our hello world finished. So as you can see, you can very easily get information displayed to the screen. Now hopefully this will help get you started down the road. We are working on a lot more tutorials here at Burton's Media Group for using Corona and other game engines for mobile devices. That is a major focus, as well as tutorials on Java and other wonderful little tools that we all need to learn if we're going to be good developers. So good luck and look forward to seeing you again soon.